Legend of Total War here with part 31, I think, of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play campaign as the Carling Dynasty Empire of Francia. Okay, so previously we finalized the conquest of the sort of Mongolia greater area and took a lot of territories away from the Byzantine Empire. It's almost unrecognizable now. And um, we're about five years away from a crusade, I think. Anyway, who do I want to hit next? What about this... This rebellion. No, I'll just, I'll just leave it be for the time being. Let that rebellion play out. Not a, there's not a, a lot left to conquer. We're almost done. Still, these regions over here are just not converting. I'm, I'm getting tired of it. I'm just going to hand it over because I just don't care anymore. I mean, I've held on to it for the entirety of the previous episode. It must have been about 10 years and not they could just wouldn't convert. So just forget it. Alright. Who should we attack next? Now these regions. I want to save a... Um, a crusade for Sweden, but I might might just save it for the Milanese. So let's uh, let's attack Sweden. All right, where's their primary hop? Oh, there he is. And we'll just start working our way up, shall we? Sounds good. Let's do that. Now I can't rely too heavily on Denmark's forces by themselves, obviously. Okay, that is. That is way too many troops. Let's let's split things up. And you got this way. Otherwise, just end up taking just ass loads of attrition. And right, how many troops can I get from Poland? Not many. But I shouldn't need much to go just take on a village. Yep, everything's looking like it's going pretty well. Hang on, I think... No, no, that's fine. Get rid of this. Everything's a bit quieter at the moment. I feel like the previous episode had, um... The volume was a bit better. A bit louder. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check my audio settings. Sometimes I just fucking... I tell you what, Windows 10 is the most inconsiderate Windows I've ever had. Vista was far superior in my opinion. It's just that, you know, I went to Windows 10 because otherwise I couldn't play um, Warhammer. Like that was fucking worth it. But Windows 10 will often change my settings without even fucking te telling me. It'll bloody, it'll, it'll like send me an email, like I fucking need an email. You know, just don't change my goddamn settings, dick. Okay, let's put my forces again, because like I said, we're only going up against... Um, villages. And villages don't really have a whole lot of resistance to offer. I don't necessarily expect them to, to be victorious on their road up that way, but again, I don't, I don't really care that much. The temples provide a lot more war school than, than the county capitals being the, uh, uh, the, the tribes. 
So yeah, if I also hand over all of Sweden to um, to Denmark, as it is right now, Denmark would be one of my weakest lords, despite having quite a lot of territory. Because these 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 tribes are worth nothing. They're only useful for tribal lords, which we are not. The main thing was to make sure that the king here is not a tribal vassal. It must be a feudal vassal. And hopefully he'll, he'll work towards converting these to being castles. What happened there? Westrogothia? They must have declared independence from Sweden or something. to take on these Norse fuckers. Gotta conquer their entire goddamn realm. Cause all the stupid tribes out here. Just to take just to take this piece of shit region down here. Of course any trained monkey can fucking take one of their their lands straight back. They're completely undefendable. Yeah, see, so he got defeated. But it's about time, I suppose, we take the fight to these uh, to these Viking invaders. They need to be punished, and their culture eradicated. I just think out this way. Get them on the boat and sail them over to here. Good. They should be surrendering soon. If we can get it to 80%, they'll possibly surrender. Last thing I want to do is have to occupy all of their territory. What a grind. percent I've nearly occupied every single one of their regions. Thing is, they occupy one of my regions, it's worth like three or four war school for them. I take one of them, it's only worth like one percent. If I'm lucky. That, that army there got destroyed just by the weather. Again, that's the reason why I haven't really focused too much on this, because I know how much of a pain it is to take take the north. Okay, it's almost done. If we take these two regions here, they'll have uh, all their lands completely occupied by us. Very much not valuable lands, but at least that's done. So these lands over here, they are Germanic Pagan. 
I'm just going to hand them straight over to you. Wait, where's this? So we got three regions out of that war. Three shitty regions. But at least that's three tribes that will no longer raid us. Okay, so there's the West Rogothia here. Can declare a holy war for that. That'd be pretty easy to take. Alright, let's do it. Good thing there's a port there, I'll be able to go straight to it. So if I have a look at Denmark, how many troops can it supply me with? It's yeah, 200. You really do need to have castle regions. What I might do is actually just invest in this and maybe, maybe he'll uh, make them the primary title. I'll build him some castles. I mean, at the end of the day, I've got the money. I just, I just want him to be able to supply me with some troops. Uh, where the fuck did it go? I put 10,000 men on here and they just dis disappeared. Five thousand men should be sufficient to take this. But that's that's sinned. Should have more troops than that. Don't expect much resistance from these regions, so just go in there and quickly take it all. Jeez, I got I got three thousand, nearly four thousand ships. All right, Daenerys Targaryen eat your heart out. All right, so you can get that region for the time being. Yeah, whatever. And um, and this. Oh, good! It, it got converted. Oh, good. Because I'm tired of uh, these tribes. Alright, so what's the, what the hell is this? So these guys declared war for this region, did they? Well, Sweden, uh, not Sweden, uh, Syria will go sort them out. Just hang on, forget about that for the moment. There's a Norwegian revolt here. Let's take advantage of it. Because I'm pretty sure that's the entire province there. Okay, I won't be able to rely on your troops. Oh, 14,000 already, jeez. They recovered quickly. Alright, get them on the boat. Get over there. The Norwegian revolt is isolated. Okay, no, it's over here. As well. Alright, that should be enough. Okay, and then get them back in there. Actually, no, just stay there for something. Gotta move fast if we want to take this territory away from the re revolt. 
Because we don't have to worry about a defensive pact either with this. I mean, the Norwegian forces. Uh, but it's, if it's being occupied by somebody else, that's also a problem, because I won't get that region. Doesn't matter, just take as much as we can. If we have to do multiple wars, so be it. Prestige isn't an issue, so I have to, if I have to spend it, not a big deal. So how old are you now? 24. That defensive war could actually be quite useful for us. Get the whole thing. Very nice. Of course, these territories are shit. So we'll build a castle in each of them. Five more tribes, we don't have to worry about raiders coming. Speaking of raiders... Okay, where's your home, Lays? Mm. Yeah, it's not really a target right now. We sort of want to systematically move our way up. So how many troops can I get from Denmark now? 300, yeah. Each of these regions is not worth much. Now, Norway. If I was to declare war for... Let's see. Vestlandet. Sounds good. Let me just... I need to recover my troops a little bit first. Oh, I disbanded them. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's do this. Norway owns territory up here, so let's go and occupy that as well. Okay, while this war's going on, let's try to capture this. Guys are in position over here. Not particularly valuable territory, but got to get the war score. Good, already at 50%.
I probably didn't need to do this. Okay. War's quite in our favour. But don't relent until they give up. Got a nice big chunk of territory that's not really worth a whole lot. Like I said, build a castle in every region. Ends up costing me a lot to make these. Costing me a lot to take the, take the whole area, but it doesn't matter, it needs to get done. I've got so much money, what does it matter if I'm spending thousands on building new castles? And if I need money, I just go to the Pope and be like, Hey, you got heaps of money, give it to me. All it costs me is piety. And we're getting piety from these holy wars, so it's all good. Ignore. Fuck them. Alright, this is a giant mess over here, so who should we attack next? Norway again. Oh, I've still got levies. Oh, I disbanded them. Wait, then why couldn't I declare war? Maybe, oh, because I didn't select the king, that's why. So which one's Ork? So that's for these two islands out here. Alright, let's do that. I haven't called upon the forces of England in quite some time. Maybe I'll do that this time. That's Africa. That's England. Might as well use Africa as well. Why not? Byzantine Empire is no longer under revolt, so as soon as we're done with this war, I'm going to pick another region off them. Okay, a whole bunch of territories just got constructed. Okay, it's there. Mostly over here. By handing them over to him, he should make them his primary title, the region capital in the area. That's what I want. Don't want the capitals to be tribal. It doesn't really matter too much if the, if the uh, tribes still exist. Good, he's made them the primary title. That's what we want to see. What happened with this war? What the fuck? I don't know what happened with it. I was at war with him and then suddenly I wasn't. Ah, forget about it. I'm going after the Byzantine Empire now for a bit. So let's see, what can we take off you now? There's only two other regions over here that we have de jure claim over. The assassins spread to Syria. Did they though? I don't see them anywhere. I'll take in Kira. Well, 
What's this? There they are. There's the assassins. Well, I'm sure the Syrians will take it out. I'm one year away from from Crusades, I think. Well, actually, it's like a couple of months. I think I've been... Some of those, uh... Those buildings have... Uh, or those holdings have been constructed. Oh. This is actually good. He died fairly young. However, you're not very good. You don't even have enough stewardship to hold the, the titles that we do have. Um, I will get you married, but you'll marry an old bitch to begin with. Because you're still, you're still young. I don't want you having a son until you're like 40. So find an old bride. Who's not married. Only three stewardship. Gotta get someone with high stewardship to increase our demands limit. It's good for learning, but I'm looking for stewardship. Mm, not enough stewardship. Enough. Give me someone that's got like 10. Seems like a slim picking today. Who's this? She's 31. She's too young. She can still bear children. No one's trying to assassinate our emperor at the moment, so we're safe. And even even then, if they were trying to, there's been like no success in that regard. We've got we've got too much power. No one's going to stop us. Everyone's relatives are goddamn. Is they too young or dead? Or not very good. Well. Fuck, she's an ugly, toe-faced fuck, but whatever. She's got eight stewardship. That should get us at least to nine. That granny pussy. But yeah, got our demands to limit to nine, so that's good. Once he's uh, improved his stewardship, he won't necessarily need her. But yeah, we'll, when she dies of old age, then he can actually you need to not risk your life.
good. You gotta take this. Probably won't be needed. To, we're just about done here. Okay, we're done. And another region for Palacio. Okay, now, up against Sweden and stuff, let's see. It's still a bit of a mess out here. So, if he wants gold, then I'll just take that gold straight off him. Then again, I didn't have a whole lot of piety, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, who are we going to declare war on? Hang on, why can't we call a crusade? Let me see here. Yeah, we still can't call a crusade. It's past 1100 AD. This is weird. I've never seen this happen before. Maybe we, we can't call crusades because Islam is gone. I mean, actually, is it gone? Let me just check. It's not completely gone, but there's only two regions left, and they're under our control, so I imagine it's going to disappear entirely soon. There's no there's no Muslim lords left. We've eradicated Islam. It's actually funny, when I did my Deus Vault campaign on um, Medieval 2, obviously on my primary channel, you know, you get so many people be like, Deus Vault, Deus Vault, and, and all that kind of stuff. And then I had messages from, like, my Muslim fans... That were like, oh no, don't do this. I feel so sad for this. And I don't know if they were role playing or whatever. But it's like, how many times did I conquer the world for Islam? And they're like, yes, do this for Islam. Just like, oh god, I don't care one way or another. You know, me conquering the world for, for Islam or Christianity in this means nothing. It's just a fucking video game. People take things so seriously. I suppose I could take on Finland. Okay, part of the Swedish re revolt is over, so... Let me see, I want to take out Sweden first. I just want to take like huge chunks of their territory at a time because it's such a pain to fight them. These guys here are Catholic. We've reached 4,000 holding size, so that's good. Yeah, I think I'll go for Sweden. Uh, not Sweden, Finland. I think I can get more territory out of them. Oh, I can't actually attack them for here. Oh, forget it then. Now, who's this piece of shit? Alright, just, yeah, kill him. Oh, wait, he's... Well, I'll go for Livonia first. There's actually too many troops to fit on the boat. Or oh, boats. Let's disband them. Looks like it'll be a pretty easy war though. I hope I get this as well. Doesn't really matter though. I'll eventually get it all. Uh, 
Okay, the game froze for a moment there, but luckily it recovered. Gamble kind succession in Pomerania. Fine, I don't care. Alright, good, I can get it. So this will be handed over to Poland. It's just tribal shit, I don't care. I'm not gonna fix it up for them. Oh shit. That region. Oh, god damn it. It doesn't matter. But he wasn't supposed to get that. This is supposed to go here. I could revoke it from him, but like I said, I don't I don't care enough. Things will get messed up anyway. So hopefully these will be made into the primary title in the area. Mm, some of them, not all of them. Alright, who shall we kill next? I might end this. Wait, hang on. That might not have been a good idea because we already had... Look, even if they said to me, we want Gavel Khan's accession in Pomerania, fine. I'm like, what do I care? I'd, I'd fucking do it right now. So let's see, Pomerania. Oh, come on. Hang on. Let's try and find it. has reigned for at least 10 years. Okay, can't do it. Certainly not worth having a revolt over a title that I'm really just holding so nobody else holds it. Like, who cares about the succession type? Gavelkind actually works just fine. It still goes to my heir. But they've got 180,000 men. King of Africa is powerful. For improved noble customs, we can increase feudal vassal opinion by plus two. I suppose we don't really need the imperial system right now. So I won't worry about it. Dement's too big. Okay, well, we can. I'm sure one of those other buildings were, we've just finished. So you can have that. <coughs> Excuse me. Siri is a powerful lord. It makes sense to just give him a gift. Keep him out of the defensive pact. I mean, out of the, um, the faction. Just by kicking one of them out should essentially fix it. So what's going on here? Alright, so, the Byzantines are at war with the Carthians and Wallachians for claim on 
I don't even know what they're after. Who cares? Let me just see. If I was to usurp this, cannot usurp the sole primary title of a ruler of another religion who still holds lands within it. So I need to get the Kingdom of Georgia off him. Wait, could I usurp the Kingdom of Trebizond? Sorry, An Anatolia. Oh, I've already taken it. No, no, not Anatolia. A Trebizond. Where is it? I don't think I'd be able to do it even if he was a piece. He seems to have more titles in that area. Okay, so declare war. Let's go for... Yep, we'll go for that again. Hopefully this time we actually get it. It's a bit overkill sending these guys over there, but I don't care. I can't believe I can get 50,000 troops from these guys. Sind is way too powerful, but as long as I keep them under control, it's all good. So once we've taken this province here, this I think should actually belong to England. Then we come over here to take Norway. I mean to take um, Iceland. Good, that's already given us Just come over here, you lot. Um, I don't want celibate. He doesn't have a son yet. Sometimes there's downsides to the decisions that we need to make. But I don't want him having children until he's in his 40s. Some not particularly valuable settlements were taken, but they can't always be valuable. All is good. 
Oh, no, I'll let someone else deal with that. So I'll actually hand these over to England. One of my weaker vassals. Okay, now. Why can't I declare war? Oh, right. I've always got the, uh, the king. So, we've got Estonia, Jalik, Jamtland. Which one's that? How do we get to here, then? I suppose it doesn't matter. I might, I might just cool off that. Still don't understand why there's no crusades allowed just yet. Oh, I see. I gave the tribe. But not the county. I kind of wish all of this was just owned by one king. It's just a big mess at the moment. Alright, we can finish you off. This will be handed over to Poland, of course. It's much easier for us to attack from the west than from the east, because from the east I just don't have that many troops. And the west is where some of my best fighters are. Ah. Smolensk over here. Is this Duchy of Smolensk? He only owns one region. That's 600 piety. What about Bryansk? This guy's a pagan. I can get two regions out of that. Alright, we'll go for that. I think it's about time we start getting the, the greater Russian area. It's just, it's like I said, it's a big mess. And it's not valuable. But I don't care. I'll probably just hand it all... Uh, switch it all... Um, what's it called? Divide it between Poland and Armenia. Because the, the territories that they own are shit. And it's not like they're ever going to compete with Sindh. So yeah, I don't think I'll create any new kingdoms. I'll just split them up amongst the ones that we've got now. done just a little bit more and then it's over okay people doesn't need to go there this isn't that bad. I'll just when I when I get a hold of it, I'll just need to make sure that the uh, castle becomes capital. But it should do it automatically because I'm a feudal lord. Yep. All right. 
good. So this will be handed over to Poland, and they can deal with it as they see fit. In my name, of course. Alright, who else should we go and bully? He it was he's named the Swiggity Dick, because I mean, that's actually pretty funny. Um, fucking bastard shit. So he's a he's of lowborn. I will not um. I will not legitimize him. I will um. I will denounce the child. So he's not even my son. Yeah. There you go. You can, you're done with your fucking, you, you dipshit. If he's a hunchback, it might be a while to actually... We'll just have to make sure that the wife you get is very fertile. I mean, if you don't end up having a son, that we've still got cousins, second cousins, third cousins, fucking cousins that are literally 200 years since they were your cousins. But they're all of the Carling dynasty. Plenty of people that we could inher that could inherit the throne. And won't, won't destroy the... destabilize the country too much. Right, what about the Swedish revolt here? Sweden is just full of revolts. No, none of that looks pleasing to me. This guy's only got one regent. Let's take him out. Okay, so these people wanting independence, that's not good. Like I said, we have had a proper revolt in generations, and I don't want to start now. So what are, what's wrong with these people? They don't like that I attraction to Hunchback. Oh, but that's because she's a woman. Um, Alright, so that's a lost cause there. So, the King of Africa, he's someone that we could probably fix things up with. Designate him Regent, give him a whole bunch of worthless titles and monies or whatever. To get him out of this. Because he's got 41,000 troops. If we pull him out of this, that, uh, that faction won't count for shit. Yeah, this King, as much as I wanted a young King, it came with a price, being fucking Hunchback. Anyway, I've paid his debts for him, at least. So I imagine this should be going away. Now, Pope, give me your money. Did the King of Africa not leave this? Okay, there we go. So I think... Wait, did he? King of Aquitaine has it. Um, Alright. Let's see what we can do here. If I was to arrange a marriage... No. Because so I've got a sister. I could probably use her to broker a non-aggression pact with one of these lords. I haven't had to do this in ages. If 
We arrange a betrothal between his son and my sister. She's too old. What about one of his sons that are... It, there we go. He's not... He's further down the line, so he doesn't really matter too much. It would gain prestige and would get us a non-aggression pact. There we go. So that's what makes daughters very useful. We've got a non-aggression pact. You need to leave for that now. Well, it's, it says it's not a threat, so... I'll take that at face value. Yeah, that's that's not a big deal. I mean, 100,000 men... Yeah, we'll be fine. Even if they did revolt, we could handle it. I just... I have other things to worry about. Like I said, tidying up the realm is just not not worth my time anymore. Just trying to see who else. Good op I'm looking for good opportunities to attack someone. Seems like Armenia just took something from over here because I don't think that was under our control recently. So Armenia, I can get six thousand troops from them, and I want more if I'm gonna if I'm gonna fight over here. Let's see. I made a bit of a difference. Because we could holy war here for a bit of this territory. This is all tribal shit. Yeah, so it would be very easy to win. In fact, what I could even do is split my forces up here. Oh, wait, we've got to capture the whole fucking thing, though. Then I'll send these guys across the country. They'll probably lose half their men getting there, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, all my best armies are over here. Well, technically they're over here, but that's... that's forget about them. I could actually, if I was to conquer like a region here and then give that to Sind, I could draw 50,000 men here at any time. Okay, that's actually quite a lot. Alright, let's get you over there. It's a good thing these guys are on their way. How much attrition are they taking? Not as much as I thought, but you know, a little bit. He's still not particularly powerful. I need to give him more territory. Yeah, I thought these tribes would give us a bit of a hard time if they're uh, this developed. Yeah, so the Byzantines are always trying to cock block us, but that's no longer much of a threat. Oh, uh, now it is. Okay, get out of there. I guess the Byzantines need to be punished again for this, for interfering yet again. I've already got 50%, I've only taken one region. Try and win this war quickly. Still taking loads of attrition. That's the problem. I just can't get a lot of troops over here. Go 
Gotta move fast. Alright, I could probably get... How many troops from here? 7,000. The best I could hope for them to do is to just be a bit of a nuisance. That's about all. They're not going to be able to capture anything. That was these Byzantines here with 7,000 men. They need to be punished for this. You'd think they'd learn, you know. Don't get in my way, and then I don't punish you. But no, they want to get in my way. I'm going to need more troops. Of course, by the time they get here, they'll have, they'll take a monstrous amount of attrition. Can't do anything about that. It's just unfortunate that my armies are just inferior, troop for troop, than the Byzantines. So you know they can bring four thousand men, not take attrition. I bring six thousand men, which start taking attrition, but they'll lose against the Byzantine army. So I got to bring fucking twenty thousand men. No, 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 no. Alright, well, if we shit, if we are going to lose this, then we might as well assign some commanders. Preferably unimportant ones. Shit, I was just thinking. Hmm. So yeah, they're not winning that. But that's okay. I can afford to lose men. They can't. No attrition yet. I guess that's good. Let's start taking it. They won't take attrition until they actually get there. Yeah, so you notice how much more of a pain it is to fight out here than it was out this way. So I can just sail my troops around, you know, in the Baltic Sea. Over here, I can't do that. Good, looks like they might actually win. Provided these guys don't show up. And they did. That's okay, I'm sure we killed loads of them. And these guys here, like I said, they'll, they'll pick up the slack. So, that there was part of this, and then it just switched. They'll, they'll probably surrender now. They've won every single battle, but it wasn't enough. And then, of course, a punishment of the Byzantines is due. Alright, good. So, that'll go to Armenia, hopefully helping them become a little bit stronger. Uh, not really. Shit territory. Now, as I said, Byzantines, you slowed me down on that war. Good on you, but uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to punish. Let's see. Oh, we don't have any du jour stuff to take.
What a pain, I don't have any claims on them. Let's have a look. See if I can get um, any kingdom titles out this way. All right, if I was to, if I was to get that, or just make it independent and then claim it, I might be able to get Trebizond off them. Yes, you need to be punished for your involvement in that war. Learn your place, which is to wait wait for your death. That's all you have to do. It's coming, but I want to get rid of all the other ones first. Because you're such an annoying shit to get rid of. It's good to see that the Byzantines have been completely kicked out of all their core territory in here. The only thing they have left of value is is here. All of this up here is just trash. And once I take control over all of these territories here, I could actually go and and claim the Byzantine Empire for myself. And I could make it my primary title, but that would be silly. Truth be told, what I do with it is actually destroy the title. How the fuck did they not win that? Oh, they did win, but Lost a lot of men. So I doubt the person that we're fighting for is going to join us immediately. But yeah, just stripping it away from the Byzantine Empire is good enough. this court chaplain. I don't really need a court chaplain right now, but just, just whatever, I don't care. I wonder if the Byzantines are still bankrupt. They should be surrendering soon. We've now hit 80%. Like I said, I didn't expect it to uh, to join me. But this person likes me now. Can I offer her vassalization? She'll accept it. Okay, good. And she was Catholic anyway, so that works out well. And she's French. Perfect. Okay, so this here, I'm going to hand this over to Armenia. No, no, no transfer vassal. What are these other ones? Alright, that belongs to Poland. There we go. I don't have counts under my direct rule. Fuck that. Okay, now. The... So I can't do it to him because there's a war. 
Okay, well, as soon as he's not at war, it'll, it should let me know. And then I'll take it. Alright, I want to take Sweden down a little bit again. Let's see, where shall we take? It needs to be something worth going after though, because it's a pain to fight these guys. So I want a nice big chunk of territory. None of that's particularly good. This is one region. Most of these are just for one region. It's not worth, it's not worth my time. Alright, what about Finland? None of that's worth it. Alright, so Smolensk is only just one region, and I'm pretty sure it's Catholic, so I'll... No, no, I don't want... I don't want the duchy. I just want the county. This will be handed over to Poland. whole war for one region. I want to take it wholesale. Just save a lot of time. And you know, like I said, the regions are shit, so. At the very least, I want to take lots of time doing it. See, this one's easy though, because I only have the one, uh, I only get one region out of it, but I only need to conquer the one region. Whereas with Sweden, I'd have to conquer every fucking one of their regions, just to get one of them. Alright, this is actually a good region as well, it's not tribal. So, there you go. Yeah, I mean, it's just, again, it's just one region, easy to take. Reduce the number of independent lords on the map, making it much easier for me to to conquer them. At some point, I'm going to have to go after this. Maybe I'll start putting in the claims now. Because uh, what's it called? Well, we found some some Muslim motherfucker down here. Hey, I could just holy war for. Because he's, he's the king. I didn't need to claim that. Uh, not the king, the, the duke. The emir. Can holy war for it. I don't feel anything for this toe faced fuck. She's here to help manage my estate, nothing more.
Good, these will be handed over to Poland. And it's no longer tribal based, so that's good. And another another independent lord that has been removed. Now, like I said, over here... Oh, fuck off. I know I can reduce the, the frequency of the of these particular... Oh god, that's, that's just for one region. Oh, it doesn't matter, I'll just go for it. Egypt can handle this on... Well, not on their own. I wonder who should get this. Should it be Syria or Egypt? I'll give it to... It. I'll just... I'll need to check what duchy it's from first. Oh, wait, wait. What am I doing? I don't need to do this. So, yeah. Checking what duchy is it from. It's from Sana. Sana belongs to... Um, to... Um, Syria. longer. And a little while ago I said there were no more Muslim lords. Seems that I was wrong. But only temporarily wrong. Could they surrender? I didn't even know I was at war. Also, giving him a title will keep him in my favour. It's time for this to be over. Still gotta wonder, where the fuck is my crusade? I've been waiting to, to attack Mali for ages. Because I don't want a holy war for that, it's a waste of time. Take it all in one go. Yeah, well maybe, maybe we're not going to get a crusade. Because you need to have the crusader king's notification pop up before you can crusade. It hasn't happened yet. And it, it, like I said, it might simply be because I crushed the Muslims so early on. Maybe I should have left them alone a little bit longer. I've never seen this happen. This is done. I mean, it took me what a couple of months. What it's taken Syria a hundred years to do. Uh oh, what's this? Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, we got, we got, we got to get into gear right now. You're out of here. There's always a chance that this happens. We got to get married and have a child right now before the great pox takes over. There's always a chance he'll survive, but I mean he's he's old enough now to have a have a. Let's see. Twenty-eight. 
22 year old, she's Midas touched, has a fertility. It seems pretty good. Good stewardship. She's strong. Lots of fertility there. Fortune builder. Okay, here's this one's probably going to be better. All right, you. Bear us a child. You need to do it quickly. Generally speaking, I mean, the, the great pox is only health minus two. It's not that bad. It needs to have a son right away. Give her the great pox as well. Whatever, I don't care. Bear us a son. Because... He's got... Oh, he's got syphilis. Okay. The venereal plague. It's your fault for being lustful. Reduces his fertility by 20%, but she makes up for it with 20%. Like I said, the lineage is secure. It'll just go to this guy and he's... he's oh, he's got multiple sons though. Like, I'll need to get one of them killed. Chances are he might actually live. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than this. So Norway has taken the kingdom of... Fin I can't even see. What a mess. Alright, what do I want to take? This region here looks all by itself. And regions that are all by their lonesome are easy to take. Now, I just don't want to take on a big kingdom for one region. If I'm going to take on a big kingdom, I want to get multiple regions. You have to sort of weigh up time that I'm going to spend at the war with how much I'm going to get out of it. I don't want to spend four years fighting a war for some shit region. But I'll spend two weeks fighting a war for one region. So someone wants to assassinate me. Yeah, now's... Now's a good time to get the sun. Hopefully he's not hunchback. She doesn't like me very much. Attraction to great pox. Alright, so we're going to have to award her... No. Send her a gift. It doesn't do much. What can I do to convince her? Okay. Oh good. By being discovered backing a plot, it's made her a little bit more favourable towards us. Didn't know that. Thought it did the opposite. Go if this hands over to Poland. This is not a bad region. Quite a few castles here. So this guy here... Um, these are all Catholic Lords, right? So I'll claim all of them. That way we get three regions out of it. 
And while that's going on, can I just declare war on this guy? Yeah, let's just get this over with. Is this trouble? Yep, so that'll be very easy to take. Okay, there's Kingdom of Ruthenia over there. I may need to create that. Yeah, needs to be created. Okay, we got all the claims on this. I'm not necessarily confident they can take on 5,000 men. Maybe get over here, but it's closer to... Yeah, get in there now. Okay, good. We got there without any issue, apart from attrition, and then the war's over. And this will go to Armenia. And that's another independent lord removed from the board. I'll uh, press all claims, thank you very much, and let's get to it. So that's Poland. Where do I get... yeah, this. Because they've got more. Let's come over here and just raid Byzantine territory, but just because they're such dick-witted cock blockers. They need to be punished. Won't be long to have got all this. I'm not sure if this uh, great pox ever goes away either. I did have a cure for syphilis now, I think. I don't know. I've never had a venereal disease. I don't know what's involved in curing it. I don't know if there was a cure back then. It's pretty much a death sentence. Alright, well this is done. And another independent lord disappears from the game. I can spare the gold, I just don't care. Good, well, 
I think it's safe to say, yeah, we've definitely surpassed the Roman Empire at this point. So let me just see, what can I get out of this? Okay, we've got some de jure claims over here because of Ruthenia. That's good. But what have I got to do to usurp this damn thing? Well, he's still at war. He, he's in perpetual... I don't think he's been at peace in like a hundred years. Anyway, we're an hour and a half, so we'll end the episode here. So, you know, it's only a matter of time before we conquer everything. Got a little bit of here and there. The problem is now, there's not that much left that's of uh, much value. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe, part 32 I think is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.